Hi, my name is Paul Rydell. I'm one of the program managers here at Home and Community Services. If you're anything like me, filling out a form, especially a form you're not familiar with for the first time, well, let's just say I might rather be at the dentist than fill out a form for the first time that I'm not familiar with. It's not going to make my top 10 list. So anyways, thank you for taking the time to view this video. You know, understanding the new long-term care worker uh, training requirements definitely can be confusing and sometimes um, frustrating. In the next few minutes, I'm going to help you understand how to fill out the TPC form correctly and submit the TPC form in a way that speeds up your approval process. Now, if you are a boarding home or an assisted living facility, or if you're an adult family home wanting to fill out an approval form or make application for approval, this TPC form right here, the one you see on the screen behind me to my left, this is not the form you want to fill out. So please, again, if you are an assisted living facility or an adult family home, go back to the website where you found this form and then you're going to want to click on the TPA form. Again, it's the TPA form. The reason for the TPC form with initiative 1163, DSHS is required to approve all courses, curriculum, and instructors for your training. The TPC form, as you fill it out, that's exactly what it's going to communicate to us. The courses you want approved, the instructors you want approved, and the curriculum you want approved. Once your training program is approved, you'll no longer use this TPC form to make any updates. You'll then move on and graduate to the TPC update form. And the TPC update form, again, we have another video on the website that you can click on and review that or view that video as well. So let's quickly walk through the TPC form. There's five sections in the TPC form. However, prior to the first section, there's this little section right up here that really is self-explanatory. You're just telling us the name of your business and giving us your contact information. Section one, this is where you communicate with DSHS which long-term care workers you plan on training. If you want to train workers from adult family homes, you would check that box. If you want to train workers from assisted living facilities, you would check that box. So you can check all the boxes that you think may apply. 